Welcome to a brief introduction of the parts of ISA 95. Part 1 of the standard really addresses models and terminology. It's a good place to start for a common set of terms that relate to the space between the enterprise and control domains. This includes the introduction of a hierarchy model. Levels 4 down to level 1 are introduced, with 4 being the enterprise, 1 and 2 being the control of the direct process, and level 3 being the interface between the ERP and the control domains. That's commonly referred to as the MOM or MES layer. Another model introduced is the functional model, which outlines all of the necessary activities inside of the level 3 or MES layer. This part was introduced in year 2000, with a revision issued in 2010. Part 2 of the standard lists a bunch of attributes that can be used to help define a process segment. These are product capability, process segment, personnel, equipment, material, product performance, product definitions, and schedules. Part 2 followed a year later in 2001 with the last revision in 2010. Part 3 further defines the activities that are carried out in the MES and MOM space. Also in this part, a generic model or activity model is highlighted. This can be used for several different activities carried out in level 3, such as production, maintenance, quality, and inventory. With this generic model, it becomes clear how information can flow back and forth between level 4 and 2. This part was introduced in 2005. Part 4 is a working draft, and it further defines object models and attributes. It's an extension of parts 2 and 3. Now notice I highlight the term working draft, because it revisits the generic activity models that were defined in part 3, and really focuses on the manufacturing operations management space, or MOM. Further parameters are defined such as work-related items, process, segment, work capability, schedule, work alert, work KPI, work directive, work list, and work master. As this is a working draft, it has not been officially released yet. Part 5 of the standard concentrates on the information exchange between levels 3 and 4, the MES and MOM to ERP exchange. In this section, OGI verbs are introduced, transactions are introduced, and basically how to use B2MML in this environment. Not only from a data presentation and holding, but the exchange and transaction of that information into the various different systems. Part 5 was introduced in 2007. One additional thing I'll call out about the ISA 95 standard is it is ratified by the ANSI Institute as well. So it actually holds a dual listing.